Yeah, Bob thinks he's a duck hunter, so I had to get him a shotgun. Now, this is an over-under. It's an FTS 12 gauge made by Hunt Group in Turkey. We're going to take a closer look at it. That's if Bob will let us. Hey everybody, Brad C. here, taking a look at this Hunt Group FTS Over Under Shotgun. Now if you haven't heard of Hunt Group, they're based in Turkey, and Fed Arms actually imports these. I'm actually doing a review on a lot of their guns because they are high quality guns made in Turkey, but they are at a very, very low budget price. I mean, this shotgun is like, I want to say around 420 I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but right around there. So I'll put links in the info section to the website. On first inspection, I'm very very happy at the end of this video there'll be a shooting portion and a follow-up but right out of the box I gotta say this thing looks spectacular now first of all the stock and the forend is Turkish walnut and it is a beautiful look to it now, I have done nothing to shine this up I haven't put any linseed oil on this or anything this is straight out of the box nice etching here on the trigger now this is an over under shotgun you have one barrel over the other I plan on using this to shoot clay and just to have a little fun with and I've always wanted to have an over-under, but it's just a little bit out of my price range. I don't know if you can see the trigger on it, but it's a real chromed out looking trigger. I, I like the looks of it. It's got a fiber optic sight on the front. The sight picture on this is really nice. Now these twin barrels are made out of 4140 steel. Now it's got a ventilated rib up here on the top. And you can see the checkering on the top is really nice. Now here's the safety. And uh, one critique of this is I really would like to have the red. You're dead. There is no red. I'm not going be playing with this a lot though I don't mess with safeties now the over under right now you see it set to over and then of course if you had move it over then you'd see the U over here so you can select which barrel you're going to shoot from now personally I just I'm gonna leave this alone now the break open lever up top has a matching etching with the trigger guard on the bottom I'm going to show you how to break this shotgun down, but it is very simple. I've had a lot of four ends that I've had to take off of shotguns, and it is a bear sometimes. I was figuring it was going to be some sort of a cheap, hard butt pad, but no, this is this is nice. This is a quality butt pad. You get a little better look at it. Now, it does have the screws that you can take this off, and I would take it off if there's anything to show you, but all there is is just a little hole that goes up through here. There's not enough room for any kind of storage. You might be able to put one shell in there if you want. To. You can see the laser etching looks really nice on this. It is chambered in 12 gauge and you can shoot 3 inch magnums out of this. Okay, we're going to demonstrate how the action works on this. I'm going to pry it out of Bob's hands here. Obviously it's just a break open action. Push it to the right. Breaks open. I haven't oiled this gun up a bit but as you can see it has a nice easy break open. Feels good in the hands. I do want to point out this gun comes with 5 chokes. 2 that are actually already in the gun. And then you have three here and you have a, a changing tool. I really like this nice hard polymer case. Okay, let's show how to disassemble the gun. First of all, you want to do a safety check on this gun. Obviously, we're not pointing the gun at anyone. Bob's a dummy if you haven't met him before. And both barrels are clean. And now we're going to disassemble the firearm. First of all, when you take a four end off, really nice and simple. You can see here there's a little lever right here that you just pull up. And it's easy to, to put on. There's on. There's off. Now we can break down the gun. All you need to do is push this again to the right like you're going to break it open. Hold on to the barrel, obviously. Let it break open, and it comes right up and out. So, very simple. Okay, now to reassemble the gun, you're just going to line it up. And snaps right back into place. Next, you're going to take your forend. Same deal. Pull up your lever. Now we're going to make sure that's secure on there, good and secure. And I'm going to go ahead and break it open a few times and make sure that it does break open and lock up tight. Everything looks good. Now, there's no problem dry firing your Glocks and a lot of your guns, but these over under shotguns, I see no reason to be doing that. But just for the sake of video and showing you the trigger pull, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, again, the gun has already been safety checked and ready. There's one and two, and of course, nothing else. 
trigger pull is really nice on this. Nice and crisp. Okay, we're going to take this out to the range. And upon first inspection, this thing feels really nice in the hands. Fiber optics show up well. It's just a fun gun to put in your collection. To say you've got an overrunner shotgun, you know? I mean, I never thought I'd have one. But for less than $500, you're not going to find one this kind of quality. Now what you see is what you get. You're not going to get any kind of fancy case or even a manual with this gun, but if you go to FedArms website, they have a downloadable PDF that you can download on this, but again, it's really not that complicated. If you have any questions, feel free to message me in the comments. I just can't get over how nice this looks. Okay, FTS over under. Let's give her a shot. Nice. See here, the shells don't go flying out, but they come out to a nice, easy pull out. Fire a few more rounds. Got a few more bowling pins up there. We'll try to get rid of those. Nice. That's a fun gun. Yeah, let's just ring some steel here. Alright. Okay, final thoughts on the FTS over under. Wow, this baby is sweet. You just load it, close it, and you're ready. You pull the trigger and you're ready to go boom, boom. You know, we, we shot some bowling pins and some boxes. I didn't have a lot of cool things out there today, but definitely going to take this back out and have some more fun with it very soon. So keep your eye on this shotgun. It's going to appear on the channel over and over. Loved it. For the price, you can't beat this. Never thought I'd have an over under for less than $1,000. I put 100 rounds through the top four, and then I put 50 rounds through this little guy. This was the only one that I needed a recoil pad for after about 20 shots. It starts to sting a little bit, but it's super light and it's, it's a little gun. This, no problem. You won't need any kind of a recoil pad. Whatever they have on these, this patented technology is really, really good. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate this gun if we can pry it out of Bob's hands. And Winford, if you'll go ahead and step down, you need to remove the forearm stock. This is a really nice system. A little. Oh, shit. <clears throat> it's a fear. Okay, go. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend dry firing these kind of overrunner shotguns. Honey, I can hear you breathing. I'm sorry, I'm it's scared. Okay. Just relax.